Welcome to PC Woodskits Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Opera 10.11 Beta, the web browser that is available for free download, of course. I'm going to post the URL at the end of the video. Let's just do a quick walkthrough here of the 11 Beta that just came out here, and I'm going to install it in Windows 7 and uh, show you a quick walkthrough. There's new tabs, there's extensions, improvements in speed. Those are the three things that uh, Opera 10.11 is concentrating on improving and um, when you go to the website you can read all about it but um, one of the things that I like to try out in browsers are the extensions. Just like in Firefox um, what additional add-ons basically can I do to customize and make the browser better. Right. So one thing that um, that they talk about here is extensions that they've improved on that okay great so let's try it out I uh, installed Opera 10.11 I went to the extensions option that it has very similar to uh, Firefox selected basically through the long list of different things that they have different add-ons to choose from the first one that I usually install is an ad blocker right like a pop-up blocker uh, things like that because those are the most annoying things that uh, affect you. So no ads is what I installed. I just went, clicked on install, and um, installed it. Done. Okay. And then on the top right corner, there's the uh, block ads, just like in Firefox. So that's great. The next thing is tab stacking. So we all know tabs now. Tabs have been out for a while, but tab stacking is basically a bunch of tabs all rolled up into one tab. So let's just say that you have a whole bunch of different pages open. You can actually stack them and put them on top of the same tab. And then you get a little arrow on the right-hand side. You see that here? When you click on that arrow, it branches and opens up to show you all the tabs that are under that single tab. And of course, you've got uh, previews for all of those sub-tabs, if you want to call them, that are stacked under that. And, um, and then you can choose which one you want to go to through, through those previews. Okay, so that's new, and um, it could be a time saver depending on on how you surf and and uh, set up your uh, your websites. The other thing is, of course, um, the URLs. They've shortened it, so they have the smart shortening um, URL thing going on here that you can basically uh, check and see if it's a, a good website or not. It um, has some features there to make sure that you're not accessing some fishy. Uh, or or bad website if you want to call it so that's nice to have you know that it that it has this URL uh, shortening and checking feature so that's good when it comes to security now under the menu option which really hasn't changed much that's pretty much the same that's where you would get your extensions your add-ons widgets set things up for your mail for example so you can go in there and set up your mail uh, account and then have your mail within uh, the browser so it would appear on the on the left hand side for example so you can set all that up if that's not something that you're into you just want to go in and change the skins the appearance it has that option too and I've done that I went ahead and installed the skin that is more see-through and dark matches with my windows theme you can see there so that's pretty nice um, when it comes to benchmarks and the scores well the acid test worked terrific 100 out of 100 so very good rendering fast and um, accurate which is uh, good that's what you want the Sun Spider JavaScript benchmarks are also proven to be very fast and you can go to the webkit.org and do these tests yourself okay and then compare it to the results that I got here on the uh, Opera and see how much faster or slower your results are in milliseconds okay for it to basically finish all of those tests the uh, Kraken JavaScript uh, benchmark is actually very similar to the other one that I just showed you from Sun, but um, it's made by Mozilla, okay, and uh, it also tests your browser and in milliseconds it gives you the results. And you can compare that again to your own browser benchmarks. Now, overall, if we do the Peacekeeper benchmarks here, you can see that Opera does stand out to be the fastest browser right now compared to these browsers that I tested. I didn't do a browser war video. That's coming up soon. This is strictly just to show you that it's a little bit faster than the Opera 10.6. Definitely faster than Chrome 7 at this point and Firefox. And of course, Internet Explorer 9 at the bottom of the pack. So um, again, if you're interested in trying out the beta, go ahead. Here is the URL. Download it. Try it out. And uh, if you want, post your results down uh, at the bottom for your Peacekeeper, for example from futuremark.com. 
you can check that out as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.